everything sports related. Breaking news, fantasy advice, score updates, weekly thoughts, and more. This is the Sports Juice Network. What is going on, Sports Shoes Network? I'm hitting you guys today with a podcast. I know it has been a while since we've done a podcast series, but this is a short, quick, and to the point video. A lot of you know that today is the NBA free agency. Yes, that's correct. The NBA free agency opens today. All these star players are going to be getting these max contracts. They're going to go every which way. You're going to see people in different jerseys. It's going to be a cluster, but don't worry. I have your predictions right here so you can kind of have an idea of where these players are going to go. Okay, so without further ado, this is the Sports Shoes Network where we sit, we talk about sports, and we have a good time, okay? All right, so like I said, NBA free agency opens up today at 5 p.m., okay? Let's start. Number one, big star. Everyone knows, KD, Mr. Kevin Durant, okay? Yes, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, Achilles injury suffered in game four of the NBA Finals. He is going to re-sign with the Golden State Warriors. Yes, I know that there's been a lot of speculation that um, Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant are going to team up and... New York or team up on the Clippers and bring home the gold. That is not the case in my opinion. My opinion is KD is going to re-sign with the Warriors. He's going to use that one year or two year, whatever they give him, to fully rehab. They're going to let him sit out a full entire year. Um, I think the Warriors feel bad that what happened was kind of their fault when they rushed him back too early. So in order to make up for that, they're going to say, hey, take this money, sit back, and just relax for an entire year. Rehab. Okay? So KD to the Warriors. Number two, I already touched on it. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is not going to the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard is not going to the Lakers. Okay, here's why. I don't think Kawhi and LeBron would make two good teammates. Here's the reason. LeBron is an alpha dog. Okay, LeBron likes to control everything. Kawhi, although he doesn't talk, Kawhi is an alpha dog himself. So, with Kawhi not talking and uh, Kevin, or not Kevin Durant, uh, LeBron James being the alpha dog, I just don't see those two correlating, okay? So I don't think so. But I know that the biggest report was he was going to go to the Clippers and, you know, because he wants to be back in LA. He wants to be back in the West. He's from Compton, so he, he wants to be out there, okay? Um, yeah, I don't see that as a case. Uh, listen, Kawhi Leonard just bought a team who hasn't won a championship since they've been a team for the last 25, 23 years, okay? The man is going to resign with Toronto. Reason being, Toronto is offering everything at him. They say, listen, we will pay you more than what you need or what you're worth if you stay with us. Okay. But long story short, uh, he is a star on the Raptors. And I think he feels comfortable with the Raptors now, even though he doesn't talk <laughs> or laugh. But um, I think he's probably going to go ahead and stay with the Raptors. Okay. There will be no linking. Okay. You know what? Let's go back on that with KD and Kawhi. I can actually see those two linking next summer like next summer i think they both sign one year deals or maybe two year deals and i can see them both getting under contract and linking together next summer maybe going to the knicks okay that's just my opinion okay number three you guys know this guy okay he won the championship with lebron james he he left the team excuse me and he also think the earth is flat okay so let's see what we got I think Kawhi Irvin, actually, I don't even think, reports have been out that he's going to sign a four-year max deal with the Brooklyn Nets, okay? Um, reports are he already bought a house out there. I mean, I know real estate is a good opportunity to invest and make more money, but you don't go and buy a house if you don't see yourself going there. I mean, that's just probably a waste, especially if you're not going to be there, okay? So, I definitely think he is going to go ahead and sign with the Brooklyn Nets. Um the reason why he's not saying with the Celtics, a lot of reports have been that Ka or Kawhi, excuse me, that Kyrie Irving is actually bad in the locker room. Now, I'm not in the locker room. I have no idea. I do not know anything, okay? But reports are that he's probably going to go ahead and stay with, or sorry, he's probably going to go ahead and sign with the uh, Brooklyn Nets, okay? Celtics, I guess they didn't really care if he left or not. I don't, I don't know, man. Ka Ka Listen, Kyrie's a weird guy. Okay, and why did I put all three K's back to back like that? I'm getting confused. I got KD, Kawhi, and Kyrie as my first top three. That was not a good idea. Number four, Mr. D'Angelo Russell. 
D'Angelo Russell is going to go ahead and sign with the Lakers. Okay, listen, Magic Johnson is not there. Magic Johnson is the one that got rid of him and said he wasn't a good leader at the time. He wasn't this, he wasn't that. He went to the Brooklyn Nets. He proved them otherwise. He became the star of that team. Okay? And with reports of them bringing Kawhi or... Gosh, dang it, I did it again. Reports of them bringing Kyrie Irving in, that's just not going to sit well with D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell is a point guard, of course. He can play a shooting guard, but he prefers the ball in his hand. So... I see no problem with him linking with LeBron James and Anthony Davis in Los Angeles. He already played for the team. He's very familiar with the team. The only reason why he left is because, uh, you know, Mr. Magic Johnson got rid of him. Okay, so I got D'Angelo Russell going to the Lakers. He's going to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers. Number five, I'm trying to keep this nice and fast for you guys. I don't want to waste your time, okay? Number five, Jimmy Butler. No, no one knows what Jimmy's going to do. Jimmy's, listen, Jimmy... I don't even know how to explain Jimmy. Jimmy is just one weird individual, and I mean that with a good heart. No one knows what he's going to do. I can tell you one thing. Dwayne Wade is not coming out of retirement to play with Jimmy Butler. He just said that just to say it. Listen, if you watch Dwayne Wade on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter, Dwayne Wade is living his best life. I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you haters. I'm living my best life. Right? Yeah. He. Yeah. He's not... <laughs> Jimmy Butler is not going to the Heat. If anything, no one really wants Jimmy Butler around. And reports have been, again, he's not good in the locker room. He's not a good leader. He's very vocal. And he will tell you if you messed up and such and such and stuff like that. But he doesn't like criticism towards himself. So, if anything, he's probably going to go ahead and re-sign with the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay? Because, I mean, I don't see him going anywhere else. No one really wants. He's not a hot commodity right now. I just put it that way. So he's probably going to go ahead and re-sign with the Philly. With the Philly. Okay. Number six on my list, Mr. Clay Thompson. Whew. Man, I cannot touch on Clay Thompson enough. This guy is the ideal player you want on your team. Clay Thompson will risk it all. He showed that when he came uh, back in the game to shoot free throws and try to play on a torn ACL. He showed that time and time again shooting threes. Listen, he's the best three-point shooter in the NBA. Yes, Steph Curry is the best free throw shooter in history, but Klay Thompson is right there. The Splash Brothers. You cannot break up the Splash Brothers. And I touched on this in my last two videos, okay? Klay Thompson wants to stay with the Warriors. The Warriors want Klay Thompson. If anything, if KD does not resign with the Warriors, you can bet Klay Thompson will, okay? They're offering everything. They're going to give him his uh, five-year 190 max easily. No question. No question about it. Okay? They are not going to allow him to go to the Lakers with LeBron. They are not going to allow him to go to the Clippers. They are not going to allow him to go to the Mavericks with Luka Doncic. Klay Thompson is going to be a warrior for life. You can bet your money on that. Okay, Listen, that backcourt, best backcourt in NBA history. Okay, They won 73 games without Kevin Durant. The main guys on that team won 73 games without KD. They won a championship without KD. If anything, you keep Steph and you keep Klay Thompson together. Okay? Now, next on my list. Actually, no. Let's finish this and make on this. Um, listen, Klay Thompson called KD. They talked over and over and said, hey, um, what are your plans? What are you doing this summer? What, what, what are we doing? Okay? Because we both got to rehab and I don't know what's going on. Apparently, I guess the Warriors told both of them that they have enough money to sign them both to max deals. So if that's the case, then I see them signing again and I see the Warriors dynasty continuing. A lot of people say it fell off, it's over, it's done, no more, haha, you lost. No, if them two, if both of those two guys sign back, you can bet your money they're going to win another championship, okay? And like I said with KD, the Warriors are going to pay Klay Thompson and they're going to say, you know what? We don't even want you back this season. We want you to take this full year in rehab. It's the least we can do for what you did for us, okay? And, uh, all right, last on my list, last but not least, Mr. Patrick Beverly, okay? There's a lot of free agent stars right now, but these are the main guys that I'm focused on right now. Uh, Patrick Beverly, man. Patrick Beverly is a, he's an interesting player, man. Interesting. He will get you buckets. He will guard your best defender. But for some reason, he can't find a steady home. I don't, I don't know what it is, man. From what I can tell, he looks like a great player. He has a great attitude, but he's probably not sliding. Or sliding. He's probably not signing back with the Clippers. Um, it's just that simple. He, he's not going to go back to the Clippers, okay? Patrick Beverly is probably, if anything, he's going to go ahead to Dallas. And you're probably saying, Dallas? Dallas? Yeah, that's because Kimba Walker is not coming to Dallas like everyone thought he was, okay? 
Patrick Beverly is going to come. He's going to team up with Luka Doncic. And he's going to uh, team up with Christoph Porzingis. And that's going to be a good dynamic because Luka could run point easily. Patrick is your two guard. But Patrick brings a defensive presence. Okay. He, like I said, he will guard your best player. And he will make everybody on the court better around him. He is a veteran, so he's been there before, and I think he can help lead these young guys. Because you got to remember, Luka Doncic is about to turn 20 this year. Christoph Porzingis is about to turn 24. Um, besides those two people, that is the youngest on the team. The youngest. Okay. And I said last but not least, but I actually lied to you. I'm sorry. Um, I also have, yes, DeAndre. Mr. DeAndre. Okay. DeAndre is uh apparently is going to take the vet minimum you know he's a center he played with the clippers for a very long time deandre jordan um he's going to take the veteran minimum just to sign with the lakers Whew. listen these super teams is it's retarded okay a lot of people keep saying that oh you know warriors had to form a super team to beat lebron this and that and this if anything LeBron started the super teams back in Miami with him, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. So if anybody's to blame for it, blame LeBron, okay? So since now, boom, everyone wants a super team, okay? Everyone wants to power up. It used to be one all-star, and now it's like four or five on the team, okay? So DeAndre Jordan's apparently going to take the vet minimum, and he's going to go to the Lakers. So we will see what happens with that. I mean, that kind of is a big three. I mean, DeAndre Jordan's no slouch. He's a good center. He just sucks at just about everything besides dunking. So... If that happens, then there you go. You got three guys on the court that's well over 6'5 or 6'8 because LeBron is 6'8, AD, 7 foot, and DeAndre Jordan 7 foot. Okay, so there you have it. All right, so quick short video. Um, again, very quick short video. I have KD back to the Warriors, Kawhi Leonard back to the Raptors, Kyrie Irving is going to sign with the Nets, D'Angelo Russell is going to take his talents back to Los Angeles, Jimmy Butler is going to stay in Philly alongside of uh, Ben Simmons, and uh, I forgot his name, you know who I'm talking about, Klay Thompson is going to the Warriors, okay, I say going to the Warriors, he's staying with the Warriors, he's going to take that year, he's going to rehab, Patrick Beverly to the Mavericks, DeAndre Jordan to the Lakers, okay, quick, nice, short, NBA free agency opens up today at 5 p.m., I'll try to get this video out at 2 o'clock so you can start getting the ID in your head, but this has been another episode of the Sports Shoes Network Podcast Edition, and I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments, so be sure to like, share, and subscribe, follow your boy on all the social medias, and have a good day, yo!